Hello everyone, welcome back to my European Space Agency RP1 career in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. I have updated the mods once again, and once again there are some curveballs. Uh, we have an extra contract in the Crew Orbit program. We have Collect Basic Crew Science to do. So, yeah, well, so much for only having one thing to do, huh? Basic Crew Science, huh? Okay, well... Fine. I mean, we should be able, but can we do that at the same time as first DVA? Let's see. I mean, EVAing seems like crew science to me. Collect science 100% of liquids in microgravity, 100% of visual tracking, 100%. We have to get everything. Earth photography. I mean, I hope that doesn't require a polar orbit. And we have to stay in orbit for a day. I mean, that's fine and all. I don't know how long that'll all take. It doesn't say anything in here about not doing first EVA at the same time. Well, we might as well pick it up. Um, we don't have that many contracts. Yep, well, uh, we can do both at the same time. So that's fine. That's fine. But we, we have that. I don't know what other mysterious things are gonna sneak up on us then add an extra small body for us to do at least I want to build more of these jewel probes that are gonna be repurposed to other places but we don't have the money right now uh, but before I do anything else I'm gonna turn on tracking there <laughs> uh, and I think we're building one already so we want to make sure that that gets changed too. just gonna make sure to save that version Let's get some timers for the Apollo proficiency. That's not too long away now. That'll be before anything else. I don't know how long they'll take to train for the mission. Oh, we got some visible imaging sun space high there. Uh, I, that would be from the Mercury missions. Viola has trained up. Um, uh, oh, they updated the mod, so I have to change the Maya spacecraft crew cabin. I still have to figure out how to make sure I, that gets put into a separate configuration, but uh, that's not our current issue. Wow, there's a lot of crew cabins. <laughs> Can they bundle some more of these up? Do we really need a special proficiency for those? The hitchhiker can? Really? Okay, Mission Apollo. Hopefully, start training. Till September. And Sebastian's got to take till October 8th. Well, we'll be taking care of our Mercury missions and the series launch before that. Got some extra fuel cells. More research. I guess we'll continue up the RTG line. We'll just get both of these and then reach the Snap 19s. The multi hundred watch just one step away. Oh, yeah, we have enough money to queue up another Drez. Or, yeah, another Drez for the Vesta mission. I'm just gonna roll out the Drez that we have ready, even though it's a little bit early. I think we might want to launch it before we need to deal with the Mercury missions. Might be a good idea. Uh, or we'll wait till after. I mean, they're going through pretty fast. So we'll pay attention to them first. If it was a longer time to periapsis, that would be a different story, but it's pretty short. Okay, let's see how our Mercury missions are doing. Okay. Comms are fine. The sun... We're just done. The sun doesn't seem that bright. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's okay for now. Comms are that way. Well, let's get into the SOI and see. This is probably not too bad. Um, looking at line back and the fact that we're going up like that. It's probably not... Well, once we get past Mercury, Mercury might block us, though. 
I'd like to get over on this side a little bit more. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I, either way, I think Mercury's going to block us. Yeah, I, I don't think there's any benefit to this. So, let's just make sure our science is working. It is running. We'll have slightly different things on the other probe. It might not have a pro I, uh, No, this might be the one that... No, th I think this is the first one. The second one had the, uh, did not have the pressure scan and temperature scan, so this is the first one. I wonder if it's going to be just happy with this one and that's good enough. Maybe it didn't require a new vessel. Yeah, it's happy with the telemetry. Maybe I panicked for no reason, but it always ha wants a new vessel, right? So I didn't even think about checking that. We even got the mass spectrometry, yay. Oh, and we got the Mercury flyby. Now, if only I could see the planet. <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay. Okay, well, we want the low over signs too. It's like we're gonna zap Mercury. Well, it's running the stuff. Oh, we got the telemetry. Didn't say we got anything else though. Still got comms. It's still running. Let's see if we can get through them. Okay, we did get through the pressure and temperature as expected. But not anything else. Telemetry, pressure and temperature, but the others are still open. Okay. Well, there we have it. First Mercury flyby. Okay, well, the second one's coming in right away. So let's hop to that one. This one's all done. I guess I wasn't looking at the lines quite right. I thought we'd be blocked, but we end up going a little bit higher up. Okay. Oh, that's clever. Maybe I could have used Delta V to get us to Venus as well. But I don't know if we have anything left to do there with orbiters around there anyway. Or the, at least the science that we're likely to be packing right now. Okay, Mercury Probe 2, and this one we need to be more careful with when it comes to the electric charge. Infrared radiometry is running. Everything else is not. But I think it very quickly did the visible imaging, so... This one's a pretty close pass too. Uh, it looks like going on the southern end instead of the northern end, so we'll see. Oh, oh. Uh, things are overheating for some reason. The dish? But th I guess we weren't pointing the dish directly at the sun before. Well, fine, we can turn it around for a little while. Actually, for the duration of our pass, maybe. Anyway, technically the dish should be pointing away from the sun at Mercury, Earth. I mean, Earth is... Yeah, currently away from the sun. There are times when it wouldn't be, but... Okay, cooled off, I think. Interesting. I was somewhat worried about things maybe getting too hot around here. This one is not so important for us now. If we could get some extra low over Mercury science, that would be nice. And it's doing that. But we don't have comms. Uh... Yeah, we've lost comms here for a little while, but now we brought them back. Okay. I don't know if we got anything complete, but we probably got a few points here and there. Okay, well, pointing at the sun is probably going to kill this thing. I guess we'll leave it in this orientation and just let it perish quietly. Yeah, we'll just leave it be. Not have its dish blow up, but... Yeah, it's either a, a sudden violent thing or it's a quiet running out of charge thing, and we'll go with the quiet running out of charge thing. Back to Space Center. 
Well, that, that's enough signs to get multi-100 watt RTGs if we didn't have to unlock this first. <laughs> but we do have to unlock this first. So we'll queue that up. Now we're going to need a little bit more. Maybe we'll get that from Ceres. Ceres is going to be a long trip, though. Oh, we're getting some extra stuff from Mars still. Oh, that's why we've been having separation problems. Uh, the symmetry didn't work on those. The symmetry for the... I, I was looking at the VAB in this view, and I placed the separation motors here, 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 and here, and they looked all right. I didn't check on the opposite side. Somehow the symmetry didn't work on the top ones. That's why we've been having that weird stuff going on. But it's separated all right, so I'm not going to mess with it. Uh, we'll do that for the later ones. We'll have to make another note to fix that, but for now, since it's out here already, and the previous ones didn't have a problem, well, didn't have a catastrophic problem, we will proceed and then maybe we'll have a catastrophic problem and it'll be very interesting. Okay, it's dusk, sunset, and we are launching. SAS on, throttle up, and ignition. We've done this before. And go. Okay, which one are you? It's another booster engine, of course. Ominous tint to the clouds. Lots of good shots at this time of day. Okay, booster sap, core sap, core sap. Okay, get all that out of the way. <laughs> we don't need any of that anymore. Is free from that chaos. Okay, and our RZ20 stage. Not centaur. Something close to a centaur, but not quite. Hippogriff stage. We will call it a hippogriff stage. Maybe. Could be a griffin stage. Okay, that's good enough. We are in orbit with plenty to transfer with, 7,000 meters per second left. Let's try and get Mechjeb to do all the hard work for us. <laughs> where Where is Ceres anyway? That is Vesta, there's Ceres. Oh, I always target it first, but actually for this we need to unset target and reset target. Okay, yeah, not much, 4,900, but still I doubt we're going to have enough to capture or anything. Okay, that's pretty close. Let's just see how much it takes. Too much. <laughs> it's already too much. Five thousand seven hundred. No big surprise. So we'll just uh, enjoy having a lot of Delta V to do corrections. Oh, you know what I did? I forgot the series flyby mission. Um, well, it didn't seem like the Mercury one needed me to pick it up first anyway. So we don't need to panic or anything, maybe. Unless they wrote the series one differently. Well, let me just go and pick it up from the track uh, from the space center hopefully it'll work out for us series flyby let me ah uh, we'll wait on the best of flyby one hey, well then again we, what else do we have to do all right i'll take it yeah i mean it doesn't look like it has to be uh let's see the this has a launch new vessel that has a Launch new vessel. These do not have a launch new vessel, which means in theory <laughs> you could send one mission to Mercury, Ceres, and Vesta and satisfy all of them with one launch. 
There's a challenge for you. Okay, making sure that's all settled and go. Okay, we've got two. Now, will our stage with five little thrusters have an imbalance again? We don't even need that stage, do we? Well, I guess we do. We have the heavier solar panels now. We sort of do, for a little bit. Okay, and go. Inso oh, I forgot to unlock the... Uh, uh oh, uh oh. Activate. Okay, that was not an imbalanced... Well, okay, it might be imbalanced. Let's stop that for a sec. It might have been imbalanced due to the thrusters, though. Probably there's no reason for it to deviate unless there was an imbalance, so... Okay, well, I need to spin up to give myself enough time to check. Um, three, six, three, five. This one. That one's also a little bit higher than the others, I think. This one's low, it gets to 3.4. It's a huge spread, 3.4 to 3.7. That's like a 10% sort of situation there, nearly. So let's, yeah. We need to uh, do something with the manufacturers of these 3.6 kN thrusters, like sue them. <laughs> I mean, what the heck? Okay, well, I don't really want to deal with the stage for corrections. So, we'll just shut it down there and separate it off. Okay. And once it points at the node again, we'll up this one a little bit. But we're probably going to have to do a multi-hundred meter per second correction. Oh, this doesn't look too bad, though. Okay, we'll try for that. Okay, ignition. Well, well, we've got periapsis. We've got 1,345 to correct things once we get there, so let's just do it when we get there. We're not doing anything else with that delta V. Yeah, we've got plenty. Okay, so we'll have an actual maneuver there. And we'll add that alarm. And this is on its way to series. And that's all for that window. We're not putting all of our engineers to use these days. I'm gonna fire another hundred. Cut costs. Alas. It has come to this. This Dres 1 might be headed to... Jupiter instead. But I think we could build another one in time. Okay, so we're supposed to depart on October 16th. That's October 13th. We'll put a little bit more staff here. Okay, that'll give us enough time. All right. Viola will be finished on September 25th. Yep. Should we have two on board? What were the requirements for the EVA? says at least one crew member. We need to make sure we have all the science in it. If we can't put all the science in it, maybe we should have two different launches. And that means keeping the Kerbals on two separate launches. So first of all, the MLI layers are there. Because we do have to survive for one day at least. Telemetry, space television, that doesn't sound like the stuff they wanted. Liquids and microgravity, visual tracking, earth photography. Wait a second. Ion sensing altitude control is not night image identification. Um, none of it looks like liquids and microgravity. So... Do we have to get that science from somewhere else? Oh, it might be all the way back in the early pods. 
it's all the way back in the early pods. We're gonna have to have the old Mark 1 pod again. Because apparently they can't do liquids and microgravity in a Mark 1-3 pod. Or Earth photography in a uh, Mark 1-3 pod or visual tracking in a Mark 1-3 pod. Why? Why do we have to go back to that? Well, looks like we can't do it all in one pod. So we're going to have to build the old system for it to work out. I mean, we totally know that the astronauts didn't take photos of Earth on Apollo, right? <laughs> we should have the Hydrolox stage here anyway. But we're too light. <laughs> okay. How about four boosters, then? Okay, I'm gonna aim to turn off three of the engines on the core to limit G-forces. And they have... this variant has extra burn time, 3 minutes and 25 seconds, so... hopefully that'll work out. We can also shut down the boosters early. There's uh, quite a lot of Delta V here. That we don't need. <laughs> um, maybe, maybe we can. We can't get off the ground with just two. Oh, maybe we can. And okay, but it says propellant GSE no. So here's. <laughs> I, I we're meeting the mass requirement, but when I put so when I put on the two boosters. Propellant GSE is okay. When I take off the two boosters, it's not okay. There's something wrong with this, right? Like, I mean, I'm not out of my mind here. Let's let's put uh, this decoupling aside here. Okay, it's like that. Take that off. No other tricks. These are happy little RP-1 LOX boosters. We really don't need them to get off the ground at all. We just wanted two so that we have enough thrust to weight ratio. I don't get it, but all right. We'll leave it configured as is because that's what we had it as before. Though I guess Integration time would be reduced if we had the old stage instead of the hydrolock stage. Because we do have that one administrator who gives us that capability. The RP1 HTP stage is favored. But I think we'll just go with this. Defi definition fuselage is not available. What? was talking about the Mark 1 pod part inventory definition fuselage is not available I think they've made too many changes so first well first of all we do need to get the science right but first they require this new thing that has these new sciences that weren't required before and oh by the way this only carries two at a time so that's wonderful so we have to do two flights with it after the fact if only we had known that we had to do these things before we could have done them but now I can't build one because definition fuselage is not available prototype configs that haven't been unlocked now I'm way past the mark one pod as far as what I've unlocked who has a fuselage definition anyway? I didn't ask for a fuselage definition. Okay, well, I'll, I'll need some answer about this one. It looks like we can't complete the crew orbit program as soon as I was expecting. We can still proceed with the first EVA though. But now we have these experiments and I can't even build the pod, the only pod that can do the experiments. Well, okay, that's not, I mean, I don't know, actually, 
maybe the Maya spacecraft has the same things, but that's a whole business. Actually, I think the Maya spacecraft has its own set of stuff. It's completely different. <laughs> it's completely different. And it's not the same stuff. It can't be used to fulfill those requirements. Well, I'm rolling out the KTS. Feel is in there. I guess I have to check mark an EVA pack as well. That would be advisable. I mean, she could just hang on, but just in case. I do feel like she's looking even older than before, but I I'm sure that's not the case. Anyway, SAS on. Throttle's working. Okay, throttle up and transmit the EVA data is all we really need. Okay, and reads it as new vessel. Ignition. And launch. It's a reasonably good looking rocket. Has the speed of sound, going through max Q. Okay, uh, pretty good on the G forces at booster set. This 5G's, of course, is heavier than the Mark 1 pod. We could probably do without the middle stage somehow. Okay, separation. And launch escape system jettison. Yeah, at this stage, we could probably get more delta V out of the lower stages, but then the thrust weight ratios will be higher. I think it'll still be alright for the pad mass. Okay, that stage is good. Separation. Okay, and... Well, that's... I'd probably... Well, I, maybe I can still deorbit the stage. Let's see. Um, yeah, let's separate. I was about to say I should have left it on a suborbital trajectory, but... Okay, fuel cell running, it's not. <laughs> uh, stop running. It's, uh, well, maybe if we say dump water. Okay, we have to say dump, dump water there. This one is already dump water, but still needs to be toggled. I don't think they fixed anything as far as the fuel cell is concerned. So, anyway. Get a pseudo safe distance away. And ignition. And that'll be done for. Alright. So this is good. And with the 25 MLI layers, we'll see how long the hydrogen and oxygen hold out for. But uh, uh, why don't we wait in orbit and then EVA? Let's get to the daylight side over here at least. Let's just uh, kill rotation there. That might be a good view of the surface, though this is water. Well, I guess we'll do an EVA report over water. Viola looks really excited and small in the picture right now. I thought she was looking bigger in the picture before. Okay, the controller should be able to handle it. EVA. Okay, she floated a little bit far on EVA initially, but then adjusted. Okay, EVA report over water. Okay, board. And are we transmitting that data? It seems that way. Invalid situation. What's our valid situation for those things? Let's see. So probably f even for the Mark 1 pod sciences, we're going to have to find the valid situation. The space television broadcast is only space high. I guess the ion sensing thing is the same way. We have to be on our way to the moon and such. No, this one's space low. The minimum crew too. So, okay. No other science except for the EVAs will be done here. Okay, that's a day. That's not too bad. I mean, 11 units of liquid oxygen. 
if that's what we lose after a day, then we probably have 14 days. And uh, it looks like 22 units of liquid hydrogen, the same. Um, that will be 14 days worth. It's a little bit tight. We might want to put a little bit of extra. But yeah, it's, it's okay. So 25 uh, MLI layers seems fine. Okay, well, uh, we will deorbit on the next orbit. Arming shoots. Okay, ignition. These are a little bit imbalanced, just using a little bit of pitch in one way, but the RCS is good enough. These are actually smaller than the transfer engines. These are just the 1.78 kN ones. 70 kilometers should be fine. Okay, service module jettison. It's a little bit weird as far as controlling this is concerned. Maybe the offset center mass is a problem for it. Well, I think I liked 50% for this situation. 100% is probably more for coming back from the moon. We're in the atmosphere. And it keeps deviating. Even that deflection wouldn't be a problem or anything, but still. It's just strange. Okay, using a lot of pitch there. And when I turn that off, it still wants to use all that pitch, so I guess no smart ASS for us. I'll just manually control it. Well, we'll probably be relatively close to the Space Center when we come down. We're right in line with it. So, good value for our recovery. Oh, let me just quickly check. We had injured 4.5 Gs already for the launch. Probably this won't be more than that. Oh yeah, it might peak out at 3 Gs or something. Yep, basically 3 Gs. And where are we? Oh, uh, pretty good uh, attempt at getting back to Kuru right there. Okay, full parachute deployment. A little bit hilly around here and dark. It's always dark. The clouds make it really, really dark. I don't actually remember that being a problem in previous versions, though. They weren't so intense somehow. I feel like there's maybe a number that needs to be changed somewhere. But okay, we can recover vessel. Normal recovery. All right, well, Viola will be on leave, but she deserves it. But we need two crew members for some of the science, so... But at least her uh, retirement has changed to 2005, so maybe we'll have another chance with her. Okay, so she has flown to space in three different vehicles now. We got 97% of value, 226 kilometers from the KSC. Okay. Well, finally we did the dreaded EVA, uh, dreaded because we had to spend so much in order to do it, including upgrading the astronaut complex for 500,000. But okay, with that accomplishment, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.